Glory to God. I'm sorry, I cannot find any magic. Be quiet, Siri. Stop being disrespectful. Stop being disrespectful, Siri. Like, ain't nobody asked you nothing. Everybody, what's up? Now we dealing with the wealth gates. The saints, imagine in the spirit realm, there's really gates that God has set up for his children for money to get to you. Like these are not imaginary gates. These are not Kevin gates. <laughs> These are not Bill gates. These are real heavenly gates that are in the spirit realm for you. Now, saints, I, I, I want to shock you with this because remember, Jesus revealed to us that Satan got gates. He said, on this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So one of those gates stops money. There is a gate that Satan moves through and there's different gates he moves through so that money won't come to you or it won't multiply in your life so that you stay at the same financial level. Now, what Jesus did was he became the seed before he restored the fresh five God for the seed. Because somebody write that down, the fresh five God for the seed. See, when John the Baptist says they're coming one mightier than I, he'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. There's a Holy Ghost and fire anointing for sowing. So the same way when you praying, Remember, I dealt with the angel of sense on Facebook. When you sowing, when, when you praying and the fire of God comes around you, the same way when you sowing, the fire of God comes on you for finances. So the same way there's a fire around you to protect you when you pray so that you won't fall short of the glory, your move in obedience and perfection with Jesus. The same way there's a there's a fire that falls on you while you sowing. Say fire, God, fall on me as I'm sowing. And, and this says this is so powerful. Like this amazing when I'm telling you, like, this is top class teaching and wisdom. Because when the five gods sit on you for sowing, that means that Satan can't interrupt what the Lord intended to get in your hand. He can't shortchange you or shortcome you. Now, here's what's powerful. The wealth gates, it sits on the path of the person that would surrender their life to God concerning the seed. You have to know how to get seed into your hands. Remember I told you sweetness is powerful. Kindness is powerful. Servanthood is powerful. Volunteering is powerful. These are all characteristics of a rich person. The, the qualities of a rich person is generosity. Generosity is the velocity for the money cometh anointing. Generosity is the velocity for wealth, for riches. Sowing is where you pleasure God, but wealth is where God pleasures you. You taking notes, write that down. Sowing is where you pleasure God, but wealth is where God pleasures you. It's a divine exchange. God loves to get you what you want, but the seed is what he wants. You have two realms 
that you can deal with God. Either you sow or you owe. Or there's a third realm where you slow. <laughs> you can either be so slow to you can be slow to sow or you can be slow to owe. I'd rather be slow to owe. Because that means that I'm fast to sow. Wisdom. 